I know y'all like, damn, we can actually see your face. Yeah, I will cloak that on this hoe. So, y'all just witnessed us record a song. These are tracks that Ness been sitting on for a minute, so the fact that he recording them, y'all, is pretty cool. Kind of glad that he came through. He fucking with the uh, the majestic tree right now. I got zapped by the fucking lightning. This motherfucker looks crazy too, bro. Like, I don't think any. Yeah, exactly, bro. <laughs> See, he doing the shit that I was doing when that bitch got zapped. I was outside, like, what's good? Cause all the all the real wizards know this is a strong ass talisman, man. Like straight connected, like on some Thor shit. <laughs> Shout out to Thor. <laughs> oh, it's cool. Sun trying to yeah, bro. <laughs> Sun trying to fucking chill out a little bit. We got a grinder right here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Back on the block. Back on the block. On the, on the block. On the block. See So, that's what he looked like. For all the all the thotties in the chat, I need tips. Tips in the chat. Tips in the chat. Tips in the chat. Ness of Earth. Ness of Earth. Hola. I'm out here looking off into the distance and shit. Like, I ain't seen the fucking... I, I feel like I haven't seen weather in a minute, but... <laughs> Young weather. I be in the crib, nigga. I told myself I wouldn't come out the crib till I fucking um, was working on Shoe Pro. I ain't want to come out till I was finished with it. Really? Yeah, then my cousin Valerie hit me up like, Oh, we <laughs> we uh we just flew from Panama. We here for a month. I'm like, what the fuck? And Saturday, I normally stream. Yeah, yeah, she, uh, they done been to a bunch of places because she stay in Maryland. So I'm like, why the fuck you in Columbus for? Of all places. Mm. Boy, Columbus is the hood, nigga. I ain't realize it was that fucking terrible out there, too. Is it? Yeah, bro. Mm -hmm. Bro, this how, this how trippy these niggas are. So they fucking, they, uh, they just getting so many killings, bro. That they put a funeral home at the bottom of the hill and they put they got a car lot on that shit too. So they selling cars and they selling caskets. Hmm. I was like, yo ma, why we ain't come up with that? <laughs> That's funny. Could we go out there, nigga. <laughs> go out there. Selling them goddamn wooden boxes. But yeah, this shit insane out there, man. They fucking Walmart is. They look better than ours too. I'm like, how the fuck the Walmart look good? But these goddamn streets. It's fucked off. Did you break up in this piece? What you mean? There was like a piece of tobacco in there. Tobacco? Like a wrap. Oh. Nah, I be uh, breaking up the hemp wraps and putting them inside the light when I roll up. Because it just make, make my like, like my legs be hurting sometimes. So when I smoke them bitches, shit, have my leg feeling. For real? Yes, nigga. That's weird. Well, it's because they got, like, CBD and shit, so. Oh. The wrap itself is CBD, but I just, like, put in the whole, like, I grind up the whole wrap and just put that shit in there. Yes, nigga. That's different. With the weed, boy. Because weed don't really take pain away from me. I don't know what What really works, bro, because, you know, what works, like, Batman, like, Batman and Robin is... CBD and THC. It's like Batman and Robin, and like together when they work with your own endo endo system, they work together in your own endo system inside or endocrine system. They they work like super healing, like like they work back to back healing, like in areas that you need. So if uh, say a nigga like myself would put the CBD wraps inside the CBD wrap with some weed, and then like. Some like drops of black seed oil. You think that shit would even be even more stronger? Probably. See, I ain't never think to like, cause they already. You know how these cheap CBD, motherfuckers around CBD here. Oil. Yeah. See, I, I fuck with that shit too. And I'll, and I'll smoke, and then they'll meet each other halfway. 
See, I used to take the CBD oil, but I don't fucking know any good. Like, y'all know the good suppliers on CBD? Because that should be having me nervous. it's really going to take your brain away is, like, consuming it. <clears throat> like in meals? Yeah, in meals. Like, eating it. Because that's where you... It goes through each each one of your systems. When you eat something, it, uh, it starts at your... Um, I don't know all the technical terms for it, but... Oh, this is hard. Uh, Look like rappers for real. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga look like I'm about to go fishing out here, so man. Yeah, so when you eat something it passes through all your systems. When you smoke something, it just, it goes, just straight goes straight to the, the brain. brain. Okay. It goes too straight to your blood. But when it goes it has to break down in your digestive system and then pass through each one of your systems before it gets to like yeah, your brain or your, your blood or whatever. So your body gets like the full benefit. It extracts everything through the systems. That's why I like fucking listening to you talk about fucking marijuana. <laughs> that's my other, that's my hemp, my passion. Music and marijuana and women, my three passions. These are great passions, man. Low key, it's like an interview, dog. It really is. I need, I wish someone would interview me a long time ago. Eventually, we'll get a good interview. Yeah, for real. I mean, oh, actually, there's people who want to put me in a book. I didn't even tell you what? about it, bro. Yeah, Nigga. there's people who want to interview me. It's a it's a book about kindness. Oh, damn, and that's sick. It's about being, <laughs> it's about being kind or like making a difference with like an act of kindness is what it's about. And it's about different interviews for different people. And like I've been talking to this dude. He's about to set set up an interview and like put my story. If my story is dope enough, whatever story I give him, I really haven't decided yet mm -hmm. on like what kind of. Or what act of kindness changed my life, or what act of kindness am I doing to change other people's lives? So one of the two, whatever story I present to him, if he likes it, he's gonna put it in the book. Damn. Yeah. This nigga about to be. A oh, and these other dudes hit me up book. about clothing too, about they sending me a shirt. I was hey, like, what? Well, we moving up, bro. If you a designer? Yeah, send clothes. You got bro. a book? I already put his fucking shit in the chat, man. Some paper. This man knows what he's talking about. On me. Oh, Camera recording. Don't you dare. Don't you motherfucking dare. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah you know how that shit is, bro. Yeah. That motherfucker tripping. Yeah, y'all y'all follow my guy on social media, man. Ness of Earth. This nigga knows what he's talking about when it comes to these topics. Because he's, he's a very insightful, insightful man. Probably one of the most insightful men that I know. Very smart. Very smart guy. I mean, y'all heard the flows on the last stream. This nigga's the shit when it comes to bars, too. Poetry. That nigga could really write an almanac. <laughs> y'all remember the farmer's almanac? He probably could write his own farmer's almanac on the real. Yo. Y'all fucking with this shirt. I don't know if y'all can see it. Gotta move these pants down. Look like the. It looked like um, when uh, Cloud City and Star Wars. <laughs> That's what the fuck this shirt looked like. Cloud City. Cloud City. City is beef cheese. City is beef cheese. <laughs> Get a breeze. Nip tips in the chat, please. Nip tips. Nip tips. Nip slips. Oh, shit. No Janet Jackson. <laughs> Yo, I seen a girl on fucking Tumblr. She had got the shit tatted. Little Janet Jackson piercing. But she got the shit tatted on her nigga. Oh, that's hard. I was like, damn, that's cool. It's got the fucking sunlight on there. I think, like, I think I've seen something like that. Tumblr's but this girl, as fuck, this girl had a tattoo of Justin Timberlake's hand on her. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that shit just like, how the fuck? Yo, they tattoo artists is crazy with that shit, bro. Yeah, it's realistic. <laughs> that shit. 3D weird. imaging. Bro, the, the 3D tattoo artists I've been seeing, though, on Instagram are fucking, bro. Niggas is getting, like, more and more talented the more people's consciousness is, like, over here. They're just coming up with all kind of shit now, bro. Oh, bro, this shit. 
Yes. Fucking 3D. Everybody. Printing shit is crazy as fuck, too. Like, the fact that niggas is 3D printing shoes and they coming out with their own shoe brands is fucking dope to me. Like, I was talking on, uh, shit, it might have been like two or three streams ago. I was talking about Kanye and how the fuck this nigga got so many styles of shoes that he could open his own shoe store. But people paying like high price for these shoes now. But he already said like he just building up capital so that he can sell these shoes like the shacks mm -hmm. up in fucking Walmart. I was like, bro. So we gonna be able to get these like fire ass designs for like twenty thirty dollars. I was saying like he opened up his own uh, uh, Stephen Berry's. You remember we had that shit in the mall in Centerville? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Wait, what? Stephen Berry's, how they uh, they were selling um, Stephen Marbury sneaker, the Starberries. Um, he's a basketball player, but he um, he had uh, his signature shoe selling in Stephen Berry's. And Stephen Berry sell like everything, like jeans, t-shirts, underwear, ties, all that shit for like the low. But it was like nice enough that people wanted to buy the shit. Right. Of course out here, niggas weren't fucking with it because it wasn't really their swag, you know. Right. Our mom's still kind of trapped in 2007, and they took clock off at that bitch. Yeah, I saw so that. that shit weak as hell now. It's only one in making the thing now. Yeah. I thought that shit was tight, though. Like, damn. I feel like more designers need to do that type of shit. Because the fact that they be charging, like, $100 for some sweatpants that got their name on it is kind of... Shit kind of got old, bro. <laughs> yeah, for real. That shit got to stop, man. I mean, I'd get it if it was, like, high-end, like, fleece or some shit. Right. Or fucking Japanese denim. Mm hmm But, nah, this shit be, like, that, that stock shit they be buying off. <laughs> like, it'll never be that good. Make that shit out of bamboo. Bruh. That's Hemp, some, bamboo. That's some nice bamboo pillow. Bruh, all that shit. Hemp. Sustainable products, man. That's one of the reasons why I'm going out there to Colorado is to get up on the sustainable land and fuck with these like, hemp farms. Bro, make some real connections because I got some moves. I got some business moves I'm going to be made. Man, my nigga HD, he, um, I think this nigga got his own strain now, bro. I seen him on uh, Instagram, like, watering his own plants and shit. Nice. Yeah, bro. I was like, nigga. He was like, all right, you already know, because he had got, like, a uh, Royal Blunts sponsorship a long time ago. For real. This like, when I first met him. Like, shh, this had to be, like, right. You remember, like, when we was uh, driving to Florida and shit? Like, right after I had moved from Florida, but we were still going to Rainy House. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, it was around that time I had met him. Because I don't know how, but this is a tiny-ass world, I guess. Niggas, bro, I swear it seemed like all the niggas that we know know each other. And then we link up with a nigga that we randomly meet, and the nigga be knowing somebody else that we know. I'm like, this shit is tight. It is like almost seemed like destiny for us. Like, damn, we meant to be doing this type of shit. Definitely. Taking steps towards it. We're aligning. They be calling that shit the weird. <laughs> the the uh, Celtic people. The weird? Yeah. So W Y R D the weird. W Y R D. Yeah, that's what they call that's there's a there's a there's a there's a weird or a where no, is it a weird? It's either it's either pronounced weird or where it's like it's a family of dragons is what it's called. W Y R D, right? I think it's like something but i know it's like a weird uh or a weird not a d it doesn't have a d in it it's like a where or a weird which means yeah. which means like a family of dragons yeah yeah i know what she's talking about yeah i've I seen that, that word first. before but i didn't know that's what it meant yeah i put it in my verse i put it in one of my verses that i haven't put out yet it probably it might, it might end up one of these verses that, yeah, that record. we record oh. <coughs> i mean it's still in the process <coughs> But, uh, yeah. Bro, 
I just learned some more shit. Every time I come around, y'all learn. <laughs> so there's this movie on this fucking app I watched, I think this morning or yesterday. I think it was today. Called fucking uh, High- Highway 420. It's got Lil Duval and Devin the Dude. It's like the main character. <laughs> I know, bro. I'm like, like some Wiz and Snoop type shit. Yeah, but this shit was better. Mac I and Devin watch, was. I didn't even watch that. Bro. Bro. Mac and Devin was weak, bro. Like this Highway 420 shit was weak. better. Yeah. And the fact that Snoop is in it and we saying it's weak, that sucks. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Snoop is like the fucking. Besides the green thumb, shit. Right. Yeah. I don't know, man. That shit that I watched at Highway 420 was actually straight. And the dude that uh, is Black Jesus on the TV show, yeah. he plays like he's getting told a story by fucking Eric Estrada, nigga. <laughs> I'm like, bro, this That's is a wild. pretty, yeah, it's a pretty good cast. It was better than Mac and Devin shit. The cast they had was just them two niggas was like the stars and everybody else around. They should have got like Travis Scott or something on that bitch. So it's like they tried to make a, or they did make like a song movie or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, basically, like they made two of them shits, I believe, and it's basically like a stoner movie. But for it to be a stoner movie, it doesn't really like. I don't. It doesn't seem like one. Uh, I think. Um, what's it called? But I think Up they were trying to make it for like Up general. Smoke is still my favorite tour like the dvd tour like cheech and chong up oh and up and smoke cheech and chong up yeah. and smoke starting in like in the 70s but 60s, 70s. The, the tour is like dvd is good yeah. too nigga. like yeah also the no, chronic that's, where tour. The, that's where they got it from from yeah. cheech and chong the phrase their phrase up oh and, yeah up and smoke sure. i actually seen them on tour too they're up and smoke cheech tour. and chong yeah uh-huh. You gotta see them up in that bro. Up in that line. See, I be working too much, nigga. I need to fucking get yeah, out. Bro. Exactly, bro. I told you, bro. <laughs> Festival, dog. Thanks. I need to get Matter out. Matter of fact, why don't you? Uh, I'll send you the one where you should go with me. It's in Pennsylvania. Where? Yes. <laughs> it's, it's like it's like two hundred dollars, bro. Where? Two hundred bucks, yes. bro, for like a weekend, and it's like well, actually, it's in Northwest Virginia. Northwest Virginia. No, no. Is it West Virginia? Is that the state? West Virginia? Boy, yeah. that sounds like where niggas die, but I'm with it. <laughs> it's really next to Cincinnati right there. That's where more niggas die. <laughs> yeah, that's true. No, nah, it's the mountains, though. It's really beautiful. See, that's what the movie was about. Niggas going to the mountains. Real shit. And the mountains was covered in weed. <laughs> yeah, this is really lit. And look, look. <laughs> I don't know if you ever gonna watch the movie, but I don't know. I can't say. See, that's why I was like, I'm gonna just tell <laughs> you. You can just tell me. I'm cool with it. Thanks. If I mean, if you tell me straight up, if I'm gonna watch it, I probably won't watch it. But nah, so you're good to spoil it. That's fine. It's it's uh, unless it's something you really want to watch, then it's like I'll get to it. Nah, <laughs> the only movies I would ever really want you to watch if you haven't already seen them is The Pianist. Sam, I am. The pianist with Adrian Brody. Okay, yeah, I seen it. That's a fight. That's probably my favorite beauty. I'll really will you watch it and check it out. Just because you said it's you're giving it high praise. Well, Uh, only just because it's like in years. If if I was to recommend you to watch a movie, that's like one of them. What are your recommendations? And uh, Sam, I am. What's that? It's like about this. It's uh got Sean Penn. He's the lead role in that shit. Yeah, yeah. Sounds familiar. Yeah, he's like a special ed nigga. Oh. Okay. Right. When I was in uh, middle. He's the guy that did milk too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah about the gay mayor. Yeah. yeah I haven't Sam seen I that shit the, though. He did like a Forrest Gump thing. Yeah, bro. Right? Actually. In high school, I fucking wrote a script, nigga. And you it? No, I hit it. Oh. So, I wrote a, a script on being retarded, and I actually performed the shit myself. I had, like, other actors in the shit. When? This was in high school. I was in drama club, 
in the ninth grade before I moved back here to America. Wow. Yeah, so I will always like get in like shit that I was thing. afraid of. Yeah, I I was bro, I used to do um I used to do fucking like That's cool. I would never do shit like plays that. and shit. And I was doing like the always wanted to. audio and video for the shows. So I would uh set up the like soundboard and the lights and shit. And then sometimes I would eat in the book. But I wrote the script because it was one of our uh, like our home. <coughs> That's cool. So I resonate with that movie on like a. It was like something that I was trying to emulate because I believe that movie came out around that time, or I had seen it before that time. Yeah, so I believe like when I was in, I actually went to like a fine arts middle school. Nigga, and that's hard. It is hard, but I was a stoner. I was like, and really? like I didn't care. I really didn't have any like things I wanted to do with myself or an idea. Of, what direction life would be about. I didn't have no passion for music. I just knew I'd smoke weed and freestyle. And I just kind of like, well, I was just a bad fucking kid. Dude. I didn't give a fuck. I mean, so I missed out on those opportunities. I didn't realize that I was going to go into music until I already, until I met Echo and then you. And then. That's kind of crazy. It is crazy. Yeah. It's crazy as well because I was in Florida and like it was a fine arts like middle school. Like it just opened up and it was like, we're taking in recruits. And so, like, my district went in, and I was, like, one of the first people to experience this fine art middle school from the hood. You know, we're all like, we're like oh, shit, they're accepting all these random motherfuckers to be the first students here. And so, me, like, me and my boy went there from the hood. We're the only two from yeah. the hood that went there. And, like, we were bad, though. We, we were skipping, we were smoking, we were fucking. <laughs> like, we were just, what else is there? Just to fucking do? around, like, shit. Yeah. Summer school forever. <laughs> Yo. Nigga. It's crazy that I had the chance to do these things. Like, I did have a desire to, like, go act like, like you did. But I, didn't, I don't think I had, like, the, the courage or not just the courage, the motivation. My motivation was money and drugs at the time. Same. So I didn't really <laughs> care about school, to be honest. Not in that period of time. Hell yeah. Shit, I had got a job around that time doing that shit. So I was working at the Natex fucking bagging groceries. I feel you, nigga. Yeah. I was on base, like, they had the summer program. Well, it's cool like that you, you got to do <laughs> It's cool that you got to do that. Summer school all year long. Nigga. And scripts. Because <laughs> now I want to write scripts. Bro, hell yeah. I'm already writing scripts, but. I was about to say, <laughs> you, you smart, bro. I'm sure you got, like, a bunch of shit, just ideas that you could just jump on instantly. That you just be having sin because as much music as you make and the amount of beats that you have, I already know that you be. We'll see what's up. Yeah. <laughs> Sitting on projects, nigga. I'm going to get all this back to the earth. For real? Yeah. Damn, you got to get rich too. Yeah, I did. That's all good. Right. That's all good. I got to pay my beats with trash today. Camera recording. Oh, <laughs> Evidence. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga still got <laughs> <laughs> Y'all hearing this shit? This man said, ever been chill house. <laughs> Gotta make sure my phone don't fucking explode and overheat. And... I can feel the heat from your phone from here. Don't worry. Yeah. Is it hot? I oh, don't know, man. Shit sucks, though. Like, they be getting warmer nowadays with this like, new technology. That's what it is. All these contracts are like opening apps and moving through your background. Yeah. That's what makes the phone lose battery and overheat. Yeah, yeah. Because you're doing all that. That. Yup. Duh. <laughs> I wonder how this shit, I don't even know how long this shit been going. So I'm about to end it. Going back in the studio. Bet. All right, y'all. I'm going back in the studio, man. <laughs>